Okay, hello student, welcome back and today we are going to have a look at uh, this chapter which is actually from 4 signs about genetic. Okay, so we are going to learn about genetic in this chapter. So, uh, previous video we already learned about uh, cell, inside cell got nucleus. This is what you learn in form 1, right? Inside cell got nucleus. But now you are already from 4. So you are going to, know to learn what is inside a nucleus. Inside a nucleus, there is a something called a X. X is called chromosome. Inside the chromosome, they have something called DNA, which is like the the this the thing like looks like there's a name for this. Uh, it's called the double helix. Okay, this one you need to know. Lah, huh? Something looks like the double helix. So it's, you can see it's double and there is two line double helix. Where's my pen? And inside the double helix there is a gene. So what does a gene do? A gene shows a characteristic of a characteristic of the person, the individual characteristic. For example, black hair, blue eye, white skin, black skin, yellow skin, green skin. All this is the from the gene in, uh, in fact tongue rolling as well and the color of your hair and so on so so uh, I think the most difficult part is when people think of DNA and gene they thought that um, actually it's almost the same line because if you say why your hair is blue uh, then we can say that your hair is blue because of your DNA but I also can say your hair is blue because of your gene uh, because of your gene that's why we say genetic your hair is blue because of genetics but it's actually almost the same thing because it's inside the dna you have the gene but we don't say that uh, your hair is blue because of your chromosome they were okay a bit a bit not so accurate already when we say your hair is blue because of your chromosome or i won't say your hair is blue because of your nucleus your nucleus in the cell then you'll be thinking like hmm what are you talking about uh no you don't nucleus is something that what you learn what is the function of nucleus for one you know that nucleus function is to control all the activity of the cell so we don't say uh your hair is blue because you have nucleus we can say your hair is blue because there is a chromosome i cannot i won't say that your hair is blue because of chromosome okay Later, we will learn more about chromosome. Lah, huh? I will say your hair is blue because of your DNA or I will say your hair is blue because of your gene. That is in your DNA. So the last one will be the most accurate. Your hair is blue because of your gene in your DNA. That will be the most accurate because a gene means it's the hereditary unit of the individual char characteristic. So basically, this one you need to learn. Well, nowadays, um, things are getting more at once. Uh, because now we have cancer. You know why is it cancer or not? Cancer happened because of something wrong with your... It can be something wrong with the genetic of the cell. Means there is a bad cell. And the bad cell... Maybe your body no no or your body think this is his own cell, but this is a bad cell. But your body don't know or your body cannot attack it. So the bad cell will continue to develop. So it become a cancer cell. So it will continue to develop maybe due to the gene. Something wrong with the gene of the cell that make it keep on developing. But now, it's, that's why it's very difficult to... To heal when you have cancer huh? because cancer is you got a bad cell and the bad cell keep on making more cell and you cannot cut the cell right because the cell is very small and it already spread to your skin and your body so how you want to cut the hand like, if the cancer is on the hand you you cannot cut the hand because it just maybe the cell so it's very difficult to heal cancer due to the uh, maybe something wrong with the gene of the in the cell, but nowadays it's very advanced. We have gene therapy, so they can modify the gene, and uh, modify the DNA. So the next time if you have cancer, 
probably the hospital can change the gene in the cell to make it normal back but uh, still haven't really uh, not not like really really high tech not really finished yet like the research so so I think in the future huh? In the future, I think less and less people is going to die out of cancer due to the gene therapy. Hopefully, lah, I'm not sure. Hopefully, because last time we don't have gene therapy. Okay, now we have the gene therapy. Okay, and we did learn chromosome. Chromosome is something like X. Human got how many chromosome? So can, human got how many chromosome? Can? What? How? 36. 46 yes human got 46 chromosome male how what is the difference between male and female chromosome Male is um male is XY okay and then female XX female is XX so you can see male is XY the 46 pair and the female is XX chromosome so usually that is why uh that is why uh XX and XY so we can see let's see if I draw cross breeding X, 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 Y. If I times this, X times X, I get X, X. X times Y, I get X, Y. X times X, I get X, X. X times Y, I get X, Y. So, you will get boy, girl, boy, girl. So, that is why when we have children, usually you have, if you look at the ratio, it will be 50% boy, 15% girl. So, so this is the beauty of the species of human, huh? of what is created by uh, God. We can see that uh, it's very beautiful because it will be 50-50, correct or not? It won't be more boy than girl or more girl than boy due to because xx and xy if you times it you will have 50 percent boy 50 percent girl for from four from five ah. this one is for spm only for from four from five because when i go to university <laughs> it is different uh, my lecturer told me is like the chances to get girl i think it's like 51 percent you will have slightly chance more to get girl and around something like that 49 for boy then then the lecturer say uh the the because of uh god is very fair so god create boy more than girl ah uh, yeah yeah so, sorry boy is more girl is less a bit the re the reason is because guy die faster than girl so because guy die because he said she she say lah she say because guy die because they like to go to war they like to play motorbike they like to uh, do something dangerous so when they do something dangerous then the guy die more more than girl so after the guy die then it will become balanced back again one boy for one girl no, no, this is the lecturer and why is it 51 percent 49 uh this one you can uh, go google and uh, find out uh, huh? i think it's a bit more complicated and the answer is not really there yet uh, but for for five from five no need to worry uh. for four from five Please just write 50% uh. 50% boy, 50% girl. Okay, this is your ratio due to this formula. Okay, due to this formula. Chromosome. Chromosome, sex chromosome, autosome, 
okay. So in human, chromosome can be divided to two. So there are two. One is called the autosome and sex chromosome. Autosome carry the control of eye, tongue, human hair, how you how tall you are, how short you are, and the sex chromosome determine your gender whether you are a boy or a girl, correct or not? So this is what I believe in the in the science. Okay, when you are boy, you are boy. And when you are a girl, you are a girl. Uh, when you are boy, you don't usually say you are a girl or you are a girl. You say you are a boy because of the sex chromosome, which is quite clear. Unless sometimes there's people with uh, XXY or, or just X, which uh, there's a confusion of gender due to the genetic. Means that the baby come out is a boy and a girl, you know, but very rare, okay? It's like 0.1%, something like that, or 0.01%, very rare. And then we have the autosome. Okay, autosome that determine the characteristic. Hmm. Yeah. So, of course, some people will say that uh, what makes you today it could be due to your genetic i'm not sure whether is it correct or wrong because like you maybe you like to eat chakwadia because of your genetic or maybe you are hard working due to your genetic or you are lazy due to your genetic okay or we are lazy due to the nature because of uh, why a person is Lazy or hardworking? Is it because people teach him? Or because he come out already like that? But of course you say no lah, because he choose to become lazy. So if he choose to become lazy is why? Is it because of his genetic that is why he choose to become lazy? That is who he is. Or because of the nature that uh, people teach him to be lazy or when he come out he already lazy so so the genetic and the nature determine the personality but i think they do a research before like a daddy and a and a son or a or, or, or a twins yes a twins if i'm not mistaken so there is a twins that got separated means the 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 two girl is the same twins la separated and then they, they don't know one another they, then then you know due to Facebook or what somehow they meet their sister back so 16 years they didn't see one another and what one they once they found out the two girls they found out eventually they like the same color they like the same color they like the same food the, and then they like the same something like huh? a few similar uh, a few similarity okay same color so they are saying that uh, is it because of genetic determine the person because even the girl got separated after 16 years they moved back but actually maybe they have the same hobby they have the same color that they like same food that they like okay so that is one of the example people you are who you are might be because of your genetic or because of your nature because of how you see things how you spend your time how you learn and so on but usually it's related lah both of these related that is why you need to take care of your gene you know take care of your gene and you need to take care of your nature okay nurture sorry this one is not nature i should write here nurture Okay, the exposure towards surrounding. Okay, so this is chromosome, chromosome X, chromosome Y. So this is called a sex chromosome that determine the determine the characteristic, uh, the male or female. Lah. So we can see again that this is the example of the cancer cell. Cancer cell is controlled by abnormal cell division and the cell divide faster than they are supposed to in normal so this is the cancer cell uh, uh, people die because of cancer because there is abnormality in the cell it's not a good cell but the body don't know so the body will keep on making the cell 
and eventually you will you will die lah because it's something not good ma so the cell will grow 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 become very big when it become big i i don't know where you want to go let, let's say it grow in your intestine it will grow big and block something or in the liver it will go grow big and it that no function one no purpose so it will block something like block your blood block your digestion block the water block the urination or sometimes it grow in the brain then it, can you imagine it's in the brain tumor it will continue to grow 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 then it will block your blood to your brain and then your head also becomes smaller smaller because the cancer cell press your brain and so on so uh, it's not easy to to fix the cancer cell huh? we, we have a few ways one of the way is to cut it uh, if I ever say easy la, cut it la. that's why sometimes they do cancer cell they do operation to cut it but that one is just stage one or two or three because the set cancer cell is small so you can cut it but sometimes after you cut it the cell come out again that is the problem and if the cell is too big already let's say it go to your liver you cannot see my the cancer so the cancer grow big already how you want to cut when you want to cut means you cut the whole hand or it go in your liver or go in your lung how you want to cut cut means the person will die you know so uh, not easy la when a person have a cancer but uh, but now it's getting more at once la. hopefully one day we can find a cure uh, cancer I would say probably due to the food and our lifestyle uh, uh, let's say if you always eat fried food which is called the oxidized food la. fried food Fried food, uh, oxidized food, which is like Char Kway Teow, McDonald, KFC, all these fried food. Actually, it will, I, I forgot to take electron or give electron, something like that. Then it will cause something wrong with the genetic and you have cancer. So please don't eat so much of fried food. Huh? Then you will very old at the time, 40 years old, 50 years old. Then you take the report, then you will start to cry because you got cancer or if you want to solve this problem you take antioxidant food okay antioxidant food for example like what like fruit and vegetable so if you eat a lot of fruit and vegetable the chances are you are less likely to have cancer if you always eat kfc mcdonald and all the fried food there are higher chances for you to uh get cancer in the future but of course now you don't care la, because now you are still student ma. but but i i hope that you will remember because uh when when the time come uh, when you are 40 years old very fast uh, 40 50 years old it is too late already you nasi sudah menjadi bubo it's too late already so take care of our diet uh mitosis and meiosis hmm So maybe I can ask you some question. Uh, what is cancer? By uncontrolled and abnormal cell divisions. Correct. Very good. Okay. Cancer is caused by uncontrollable and abnormal cell division. 